Hey, Josh Konigsberg here, Law Firm Marketing Pros. I'm here with Paul Burkhart from the Law Offices of Paul J. Burkhart. Hey, Paul, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Tell, of, uh, tell everybody about your firm and what type of law you practice. Absolutely. Uh, Paul Burkhart, as that was said, I've been in Palm Beach Gardens now for about 16 years, moved down from Maryland, started a business law practice, and uh, currently we have uh, four attorneys, uh, five if you count part-time, but uh, three full-time and two part-time attorneys, and we handle mostly business transactions and business litigation. Great. Mm -hmm. So how did you become involved with law firm marketing pros, um, and how long have you been with us? Uh, so you and I have been friends, so we met as friends. Uh, we were neighbors and friends uh, probably 16 years ago, um, and I've probably been working with your firm now for 10 years at least. Uh, well, uh, we, we're eight years, probably eight years. Oh, so ago. maybe from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seems like forever. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it, it was, I had worked with multiple um, people in the space to help with uh, network marketing and with online presence and all of that sort of thing, and I was never uh, impressed. Um, so at that time, I would try different things that seemed like they had potential for me. And most of the time I was disappointed. Um, and so I started working with you and I started seeing results and uh, here we are. Great, right, you answered the next question already. So um, so what was going on at your in your business at that time? Meaning like number of leads per month for, per the internet, number of cases, uh, what your average case value was, um, and if you know what your uh, client acquisition costs, I recall sitting down with you and going through a line item budget. Yes. Remember we did that about six years ago. Yes. And looked line item by line item and started picking things off that weren't working. Right. Measured it and saw what, what was working and what wasn't working. I do right. remember that, which is pretty impressive because I don't remember too much <laughs> these days. But uh, yeah, so at the time I was kind of all over the place. I had, yes, you were. I think, I'm guessing at this point, but six or eight different vendors I was using for different purposes. Um, all the common ones and some less common ones. Um, and it was kind of a hodgepodge and I really wasn't tracking. Uh, I would know that they came through the internet, but a lot of times I couldn't even determine if they came through one particular vendor over another. Right. So I was kind of all over the place. Uh, my return was kind of unknown. It certainly wasn't stellar and uh, knocking it out of the park. Um, I thought it was something that you had to do, so I was doing it. Right. Right. Yeah. That, that seems to be a theme for a lot of law firms is what they do is they throw a bunch of stuff up against the wall, see what sticks. They don't really measure it. And if it feels like it's working, then they continue it. If not, they, you know, kind of try to the next thing. Does that, okay. say, does that sound about yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So what did our team implement or put in place that made the difference? So we cut out a lot of the fat, right? And so what do you think made the real difference for you? Um, definitely streamlining and tracking um, gives you the ability to maneuver faster um, because if you're not really paying attention, which I don't have the time or the interest in doing that, uh, so to have somebody like yourself and your company that does that for you, um, it's a lot easier to look at a report once a month and say, okay, this isn't working so great. This is working really good. Let's shift our focus over there. So um, what was the rest of your, I don't know that I answered so, the question so, completely. So what, did, yeah, so, so what did our team implement to put in place aside from the tracking and measurement? So you were one of our first review clients with our review yeah. program, right? Yeah, so definitely the uh, that. So uh, getting the reviews, uh, which I wasn't really interested in for a while. I couldn't see how that would be beneficial. Little did I know that, as we all know now, everybody looks at reviews for everything. Um, so I was slightly ahead of the curve, even despite my... Uh, hesitance in doing it. I think I took a little while to do it. I right. just couldn't see how it would be beneficial. I thought of reviews for restaurants and hotels, right. uh, but now everybody looks for reviews for everything. Yeah, probably, right. yeah. um, so that, uh, the Google AdWords, obviously, um, there's been a handful of campaigns right. uh, that we've done. Google My Business. Google My Business, yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so the result of our efforts have been Obviously, it's a gradual increase over time mm -hmm. due to what you know us getting you the rank and you know. Uh, but so the number of leads per month you're getting via the internet and that and the number of cases, so the number of conversions on your side went from what, let's say five six years ago to what they are today. Sure. Yeah, it would be the when we first started. I would 
get um, maybe a couple inquiries a week. I would say maybe two inquiries a week, um, which would turn into maybe one or two clients a month. Um, at that time, my average client uh, was worth about fifteen hundred dollars. Um, you know, we do transactional. At the time, we were heavier on transactions, so um, that has increased uh, substantially. So it's at least double that. I would say thirty-five hundred dollars a month. Wow! And uh, we probably get we get daily inquiries. So we probably get, I would guess six to 10 inquiries a week and uh, two or three new clients a week that uh, we actually retain. Wow. So, um, yeah. So one of the things that we had discussed, um, uh, I guess about a year ago, we had, had lunch um, and we discussed that prior to engaging us with all the other stuff that you were doing, you're like one of the best networkers I know. Everybody, every attorney I talk to in Palm Beach County knows you. Yeah. So you, and I know you're networked. Yeah. So how has implementing our services taken some of that burden off of you? I no longer do any networking, really. <laughs> I, <laughs> other than maintaining relationships I already have, I don't really do any networking. Um, I've kind of, uh, part, part of it comes with age too, but I've kind of shift my focus a little more now uh, to personal stuff and my value, my personal time more than money, which is a, a luxury uh, right. that this has helped me get to. So yeah, I, it's probably for the last five years, um, I really don't do any networking. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Actually, you, you answered another question that I'm gonna come back to um, that's a little bit further down here in the interview. So, so getting back to the, the, the case uh, volume, you, you, you've increased your case volume significantly. You've increased more than doubled your case value. Yeah. Okay, um, let's talk about return on investment. Okay. What type of return on investment are you seeing from utilizing law firm marketing firms? Um, you know, on average, monthly, you know, it's going to fluctuate, right? Yeah, it, yeah, absolutely, it fluctuates. But there's there's never a month where it's not profitable. Um, so it's not as though the fluctuation means you means I lose money now and again. I, virtually, you know, it's just a matter of what is your return. Um, I, I would say it's at least uh, five times the investment. Okay. Yeah. So five hundred percent yeah. return. Great. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. So um, going back to when we first met and discussed this, right? You had a bunch of options. Yeah. You had some hesitancy. Why did you choose it? Was it just because of our relationship, our friendship, or is there something that I presented to you that you thought made more sense, or? Um, I honestly can't remember. Okay. All I, right. I, yeah, it's been a long time. Man. I honestly can't remember, but so it, it, I wouldn't just make a, a, an investment like that based on friendship. There had to be something substantive there. Right. Uh, so uh, obviously something that she presented to me at the time made sense to me uh, at minimum to take a shot and try it out for a little bit. Right. Um, and then it worked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, actually I recall because of a relationship I guaranteed it. Okay. Right. That sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah, because people don't say that. Right. That right, does sound right, familiar. Right, right. Yeah. So, so what surprised you the most, or made you the happiest? Again, we're going back in some time, and you can, you know, fast forward that to today. Even just, you know, what what surprises you, delights you about working with us? Uh, I still, to this day, I don't know if it's my age, but I still, to this day, um, am kind of excited when I get a client off the internet that I would never have met or been introduced to. So I get clients, uh, you know, prior to working with you, 95% of my clients came through networking. Um, and when you start seeing stuff coming through the internet, you get people from different countries and different states with these that would never have been introduced to you. Right, there you go. Um, so that still, to this day, excites me, you know, especially when you get a big client, I go, wow, this, these people found me on the internet. And, right, you know, there so. you go. So, so it's passive. Right. Yes. It's uh, passive. It, it requires none of my attention. Right. I, I probably invest. Uh, being generous, ten minutes a month. I don't even look at the reports to be honest with you. <laughs> I know that it's, um, I know that it works. So and that's it really everything I've done marketing wise. I go. I need to see the results without have you having to show me the results right. or prove to me that there were results. Right. Right. I'm gonna know. Right. Um, right. And that's the case with this. I don't. I just. I know. I get. 
right. tons of my business through it. So I'm happy. Right. You know, it's funny. Uh, after typically after about 24 months, you know, we go we, we we have this cadence now where after after three or four months, we're meeting every month with our clients, and then after about a year, that drops to about once a quarter, and now. Most of our clients after about two years are exactly where you're at. They're like they they don't they know what's coming from us. They don't even look. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so how has working with law firm marketing pros changed your law practice? Um, definitely the the quality of our clients on average have improved, and that's kind of uh, maybe not so intuitive because you would think, I think a lot of people like, you know, I would think they come through the internet, uh, they're less quality, so they're gonna be, but what happens is you have higher volume to choose from. So then you can be more selective um, right. and kind of the low end stuff you can let fall by the wayside or refer to a friend or, or whatever. Right, so. I love that, that's great. Mm -hmm. And you kind of answered this question before, I'll ask it again, maybe summarize it. Uh, How has working with law firm marketing pros changed your personal life? Uh, it's given me free time uh, where I don't have to spend, you know, before I was networking king, as you said. I mean, I probably was investing 25 hours a week wow. uh, in lunches and breakfasts and happy hours and dinners right, right, right. Uh, all that sort of thing. So I have all that time now. That's great. Yeah, that's that. that I'd love to hear that for people. Yeah. Um, so if you were to recommend our services to a non-competitive colleague, mm -hmm. okay, what would you say? I would say just give it a shot. Right. I would say just try it and right. you're gonna see it in a couple of months and right. you know. Okay, yeah. and then just one last question and it's along those same lines. What would you say to someone out there who might be on the fence between us and somebody else? What would you say to them? Um, you're gonna get, um, I can't, I don't know who it would be against, but you're gonna get uh, the attention, you're going to get honesty and integrity. Uh, you're going to get real answers to your questions and not fluff. Um, you know, they're, you, you get honest answers. So if you're interested in something and it's, um, they're not going to tell you what you want to hear so they can make a couple dollars off. That's been my experience. You say, Paul, this isn't right for you. Here's our opinion of why, um, where you could easily say, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll take $500 more a month from you. Uh, you'll tell me, no, it's not a good spend of your money. So right. That's valuable. Yeah. 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 Right. All right. Well, that wraps up our time today. I appreciate it, Paul. Great to see you. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Thanks again. Great to see you. Bye for now. We'll see you next time.